one don't forget to comment like subscribe and well today i'm here with this uh little wooden chair we're gonna be painting this we're gonna be customizing it and i actually found two i found this at the thrift store and i loved them i thought these would be an awesome project so i brought them home and i'm gonna be painting one today we'll paint the other one another day but yeah i think this will be perfect for a little decoration or for my doll room and um, I have a variety of paints, like acrylic paints, different brands. I also have some uh, acrylic markers. I have parkour, I have Posca, and I have, you know, paintbrush and some clear glass. This one is the Rosolium Ultra Cover Glass Clear. And uh, this will help seal everything once I'm done with my project. So I'm gonna start by using this gesso to cover all the chair. Uh, sometimes while using certain materials, the acrylics won't go on as nicely and you have to give like so many layers and to avoid that I like using gesso to cover everything so this is what I'm doing now I'm gonna just cover the whole thing in white and that'll make it easier for me to go in with the paints covered up in the gesso I'm gonna go in with my heat gun and this is just to speed up the process okay so once the chair is completely dry I'm gonna be going in with some white acrylic in this case I am going to be using white because my uh, theme will be school theme and I want all the different colors to pop so I am putting a layer of acrylic because remember it is white already but it's gesso it's not actual paint so we still need to cover it completely even though it's the same white color okay so now I'm gonna go in with my pencil to do the design or the basic outlines of the design uh, after I have the different little drawings that I want on there, I'm going to go in with my paints, uh, some pasta, some acrylic, just a variety of uh, different uh, paints and colors, but all of them will be acrylic. Uh, as you all know, the pastas and the parkour markers are acrylics as well. They're just uh, in marker form, basically. So yeah, I'm going to be, like I said, filling in all of this once I have my design and then afterwards I will go in with a very thin a fine liner uh, pasta to do all the details okay so as you can see I am painting on the sides of the chair as well I do this with the top part I do some couple of pencils is what I'm doing now and at the bottom I do some glue sticks and I do the sides as well. The reason for that is just basically the design. I wanted it to be, you know, like if you see it through the side, you see still what it is. You still see the pencil, you still see the glue stick. So that's the only reason I did that. It's just basically my design. But uh, I don't do it with all the details. It's just basically in those two because those kind of go, you know, in circular. Except this is square, but uh, you, I wanted it to be seen through the side as well.
okay so there's the design i really am liking it a lot and now on the sides i'm going to put one two three and a b c and i'm going to do it the same way first with the pencil then with the pasta and then i'm going to outline to make it pop Once it's complete, then I'm just going to go in with my Rust-Oleum clear glass and I'm going to seal everything to protect it. <clears throat> and once I apply the gloss and it's dry, this is how it looks. I really love how glossy and pretty it looks. I love that I uh, chose a white because it really looks very like, obviously school theme because I did pick, you know, books and pencils and, you know, variety of school supplies, a ruler. But also the fact that it's white and all the different colors pop, I think it looks very much like a like school theme. Um, this I can use for my Barbies. This actually is a tall Barbie, but it can also work for a, you know, for say regular size or classic size Barbie. But uh, yeah, I do have a dollhouse, so I might use it for my dollhouse, but then I could also use it, you know, just for decoration. This would be perfect to give to a teacher, you know, so she could put it on her desk or for a child to put on their desk or on their room. I just think it came out super, super cute. I'm really, really loving the design. But yeah, this is how it turned out. I really, really love it. I think it came out super, super cute, better than I thought it would. And we'll come back soon with the other chair. I hope you all like this video. Let me know if you have any thoughts, comments, what would you have done differently? Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!